Hello and welcome back to Life Lessons with Sheila. I'm so glad that you're here. You are here to hear a declaration of who I am. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. That's in Psalm 139, 13-14. Being confident in who you are as a person and who God created you to be is important to grow in your faith. Knowing your calling in life is an amazing thing, but it's a huge detriment if you don't have the confidence of God in any area of your life, let alone where you are called. We're picking up where we left off a few days ago. Let me ask you one question. I want you to answer this as honestly as you can. Do you wait for permission to do what it is that you desire to do in life? Do you wait for permission? Sounds like I'm talking to a child when I ask that, but hear me out. Do you know how intimidating it is to actually say out loud that I am a published author and a motivational speaker? It makes me tremble at times, tremble. And often I do not say those with as much authority as I used to use when I proclaim to be a teacher an administrative assistant, a cosmetologist, or even a retail buyer and a customer service expert. No? Why? Because the latter things earn people's respect. Why? I don't know. Maybe because they're common careers. I know a handful of writers, mainly because of social media, and I only know a couple of motivational speakers simply from attending events where they were. It is intimidating to announce to the world that yes, I am indeed an author and a motivational speaker. I've spoken a few times by invitation to speak to some women groups in churches, but for me, it was a big deal. I knew God gave me those 15 or even 30 minutes to pour into women who simply wanted to be loved by the Father. That is a huge responsibility. Then I think back to my platform here on YouTube. I used to use this channel to talk about me, my life, to show you bits and pieces of my life, but lately, God has transformed this channel to become a firm foundation to share my writing journey and give me an opportunity to minister and speak motivation over you and into you daily. T.D. Jakes once said, if you can't figure out your purpose, figure out your passion, for your passion will lead you right into your purpose. I will no longer denounce my gift by hiding intimidation. For once, I no longer feel like I have to wait for permission to be called an author or a speaker. And for once, I no longer need anyone's validation to call myself a writer or a motivational speaker or even a minister. I no longer feel the need to wait for anyone's approval to be those things. Why? It's because that is who God created me to be, to do with my time here on earth. Some of you are called to be bakers, creators of food masterpieces, yet you play it small. Some of you are called to be doctors, lawyers, teachers, yet you play it small because you don't think you're worthy. You hide in intimidation, and you're okay with that. And if you are okay with that, then that's perfectly fine. Just know that if you're not fulfilling your purpose, God will raise someone else to fill that position you were called to. And he will do it right in front of you. Not to mention, not to bring shame to any of you, but to humble you to surrender to His will in your life. Why? Because He formed you in your mother's womb. He knew every opportunity that would cross your path, and He also knew the options you would have. Because we have free will, He cannot direct your steps without you giving Him the go-ahead, inviting Him into your day. And if you have ever been in a situation where you saw no way out, And so you did what many of us do. You turn, surrender to God. And did he not show up and show out? Of course he did. Maybe not in a way you thought he would or in the timing you thought he was perfect. But when he did, you knew it had to be him because nothing else made sense. Now I feel confident enough to flat out tell you that I, yes, Sheila, am a writer and a motivational speaker. I would love to speak at your next women's event at church or women's conference. I also would love to speak at any teaching conference or leadership conference that you may attend in the future. I love to encourage everyone to love the life they're living today, right now. Why? 
Because if we can't live love today for the gift that it is, why should we be living for another day, another time in our lives? You have to learn to love the mundane before you can really learn to love the big things in your life. I'm a firm believer in finding gratitude in the minute things in life because when you do that, you discover how amazing life really is. There is no greater gift that you can give or receive than to honor your calling. It's why you were born and why you're alive. That was said by Oprah Winfrey. I know that I have been called to write and speak because so many times after sharing something, it never fails I will have someone come to me, whether that be on a post, a video, or in a personal message, and tell me, thank you. You have changed my life because of what you shared. I can't take the credit though, as we all know of the goodness that comes from us when that comes from us is from God above alone. I can, however, take the credit for speaking out or writing whatever touched that person because I didn't use my voice or my talent with the gift words. They would not have been moved. Writing is not for everyone, neither is speaking. I want to begin sharing more and more as I go along in new and innovative ways. I even want to create an app to lend you encouragement just where you need it in your lives, when you need it with the push of a button. I want to create content that inspires and encourages you to live your lives wherever you may be at that time. I know not every one of my subscribers is widowed, and while they are not, they are close to my heart, I still have a lot of relationship advice that helped me stay in my marriage with lots of love and kindness towards one another, as well as respect. I know my kids are grown, but I think I could use my parenting experience to encourage young moms of today to build loving relationships with their children and how to encourage them in their faith at such a young, tender age. I'm just really starting on my grandparenting, but I think maybe I can share some experience with other grandparents on what to expect and how to let go and let your babies raise their babies. I wish I knew someone like me when I was in my young 20s, just starting on my marriage and parenting journey. I think I've become who I always needed in my life, and that is the best compliment I could ever give myself. To know that I have evolved to be what a younger version of me needed is life-changing. It's eye-opening and quite humbling to say the least. People take different roads seeking fulfillment and happiness. Just because they're not on your road does not mean they haven't, they've gotten lost. That was said by Dalai Lama. This video is mainly for my own personal documentation of where I stand in my life on the 31st day of January, 2024. Kind of like a milestone video. If you found any inspiration from it, then that's great. It served its purpose twofold. If you did like the video, please do not hesitate to either give it a thumbs up comment or share with a friend. This will really help me know that these kinds of videos are very helpful to others, not just to myself. They really are a free way to support my channel and I appreciate it so very much. If you want to stick around to the end, I proclaim just who I am. Until we talk again next time, bye. I'm going to leave you with one last quote. Ponder this as you go about your day. When you focus, when your focus is on God's purpose over our plans, we are freed from the pressure they create. That was said by Christina Patterson. I am a child of the Most High God. I am a child of the Creator, the one who created me. I am a child who was chosen again and again to walk this earth day after day. I am my mother's daughter. I am my father's daughter. I am my brother's sister. I am my sister's sister. I am my grandparents' granddaughter. I am my aunt's and uncle's niece. I am my cousin's cousin. I am my husband's forever person. I was the last person he loved while walking this earth. I am my children's first love. I am a gifted and talented writer. I am gifted in the words I use and how I use them. I am creative to my core. I am loved by many. I am honored by many. I am a teacher by gift. I am encourager by spirit. I am one with Jesus. I am my friend's friend. I am loved. I am cared for. And I am provided for very well. 
And I hope that you know who you are. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're fantabulous. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.